Well, I got this part struck up here, so I figured I might as well film some of it. Uh, I bought this truck for $250. It did not have the bed on it, but it did have the front clip. I've already removed it, obviously. I mainly got this for the driver's side front fender and the driver's side door. I have a S10 out there. Let's see. It's hiding back there between the two OBS trucks. Anyways, uh, I got it for that and I ended up being able to use some of the interior pieces. Uh oh, I have already removed the radio bezel and something else. What was it? But I got to take the steering column out of this because mine's pretty bad. I'll show you guys that. But uh, and then I'm gonna take this piece here off. Um, and my blower motor switch did not work. I checked power at the blower, um, checked the fuse, everything on the other truck, and nothing. So hopefully. That switch will fix it. The only thing I'm getting is the cab and the front clip. I gotta give the frame back. So 250 bucks for the body with a title, no bed. So it's uh I don't know, I don't really think I paid too much. I mean everything's in pretty good shape. Manual window, doors, all the interior. I mean every little thing I need to fix my other truck is here and it came with a really nice front clip, hood, bumper, everything. I'm going to get that other truck up here probably soon. Uh, but main goal is to get this cab off. So we don't have a lift. Um, after I get the steering column out, which I'm about to do right now, I'm probably going to break the body mount bolts loose and put a jack on it and see what happens. I got pretty much everything cut up here uh, off the cab except for the e-brake cable and I got to undo the brake lines but the guy told me he didn't want the wiring harness so I kind of just cut it all up. I don't care nothing about having it so uh, yeah cab with a title about to get started on it. next day got a good bit done yesterday it was uh, pretty sketchy our pad leans downwards at a very slight angle so the jacks were rolling a little bit and kind of had to keep it steady and but got it up high enough you could see in the time lapse off I slowed it down a little bit, but we took the back wheels off and just drug it out on some little plastic box lids I had, but complete chassis. The guy who owns this chassis um, is going to use the transmission and then I think he's basically using the engine for parts and going to use the frame as like a donor for a future project. So the next S10 video will be my single cab truck up here and probably trying to put it together. I'd really like to get the steering column in because right now the way I bought the, the other truck is it's got a ignition switch and a push button start and it's, it was done nicely but I know for 
for basically just trying to make any money off of it. I want it to be pretty much, pretty much like stock factory style. So nobody has to question anything about it. But anyways, I just wanted to close this video out because uh, there's not much else going on with this truck for a couple days. So probably get some video of it being loaded onto the trailer off of this uh, and I guess we're gonna set it out in the field out there on some blocks and I will most likely pick it apart until I get my other truck finished and sold load it up ready to go run it into Crestview this is the guy's trailer that owns the frame he let me use the trailer to bring the truck out here so gonna run it back out to him real quick the old tow pig suburban his choice today since the dually's broke right now so there it is we'll be back in a little bit try to move that cab today playing got it in its spot there's the bed gonna put the trailer up soon and get headed back that's what the bed's for